Okay. Three, two, one. What is it, my veggies? My name is VTR, and we are filming a review in public. People are probably looking over at us like, what are they doing? And they're probably calling the cops right now, so we better hurry this up. <laughs> um, so, we're actually waiting for to watch Sonic. We got posters. So we thought we would review Rise of Skywalker. This is the good one, people. All right? Okay, this, this is, is for Rise of Skywalker, one. not Sonic. I'm different movies. I'm excited. We haven't even seen it yet. We're waiting. So let's review Rise of Skywalker. All right. So I've seen it twice, so I'm good. I've seen this. it once. <laughs> it's not twice because of stuff. Okay. Okay, so Rise of Skywalker is obviously the conclusion of the Skywalker saga. To the entire freaking war that the Sith and Jedi have been at for centuries. Now, we do know that this is not the end of Star Wars. No. Because, one, we get, we're having two more trilogies coming out that are, have nothing to do with everything else. I'm th Okay, this is my personal opinion for those who have seen, uh, I want to say it was in The Last Jedi. We're not going to get into any spoilers for Rise of Skywalker at the first part of this video. No, but this is like my half. opinion for Last, of Je okay. for Last Jedi. In Last Jedi, if anyone recognized it, there was a kid who used the Force. I'm suspecting they're going to do something with that. Yeah, I thought that was like... The thing with the broom? Yeah, I was, yeah. That's for another video. I talked for another video. Okay. Okay, so overall, the movie was pretty darn good. It was. And it also didn't get as much negative reception as uh, Last Jedi did. No. And honestly, yeah, I had a lot of problems with uh, Last Jedi. This one... Okay, we're not revealing anything for the thing? Not, how I do was like, I do half the video spoilery, other half not. Okay, because there we're, is we're, one we're thing. Starting off with Don spoiler. All right, I'm not sure we're gonna use this part, but I'm gonna say this anyway. Don't there spoil is. Anything. I'm not, and I, this isn't. There, there's a part in it. I'm not gonna say what it is. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hint at it. I'm just gonna say this. A lot of people are gonna hate it. A lot of people are gonna love it. I am one of the people who hate it. We will, we were we will get to that part. We will discuss that in detail in, in a the next. No, it's in this video. Oh. Been part of this video. Okay, so I first... shrink. Okay. <laughs> I need okay. a shrink. Okay, and we're having to keep an eye on the time. Because our movie is like late and but we're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. Okay, yeah. That's for a story for when, we were, when I review Sonic. <laughs> yeah, where we can vent. Yes, we will do that. That later. will be explained later. I will probably later. Skype you for that review. And I will probably deny it. I don't Skype. Oh yeah, you don't have to see it. You will have to. Probably. We will figure out some way. We to... will figure something out. Okay, let's get to that. I'm talking about right, right, Rise right, right, of Skywalker. Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. Rise of Skywalker. Guys, before we get to that, wouldn't you make a good YouTuber? I think you would. You'd make a funny YouTuber. Comment yeah. what you see me doing and give me one no. Three no. Two. 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 Two good reasons why I should be a YouTuber. And if I find them acceptable, I will have him start me a YouTube channel. And, we'll, and I will start doing bull. We will do a video that's... we'll do a video on this channel. To where it's like you taking over my channel for a video. Yeah. Okay, so back to what we're actually supposed to be talking Sorry. about. Off on a tangent. Okay, so the movie overall was a great closure it was. to the Skywalker it... Saga. And I did have problems with it. Mm -hmm. I can't lie, but I did have problems. There was a there were a few scenes where I was like, no, 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 no. And there was some where I was like, yes, It yes, wrapped yes, up yes, yes, everything yes. nicely in a nice little bow that people would have agreed Except with for you. that one thing. Except for the one thing, yes. Yes, except for that one thing. But the thing is, with when it came to Rise of Skywalker, yes, we're in public. Don't get surprised. Uh, <laughs> it's for uh, YouTube. <laughs> I said yes. Veggie tells Raymond, subscribe, he it's needs it. It's not my channel anymore, it's VTR. VTR Raymond, subscribe, he VTR needs it. VTR Raymond, that's still not the name. We're getting off on too many tangents in this video. <laughs> We're sorry, people. It's my fault, I'm walking away. Here's the thing, last time me and you reviewed a movie, it was Monster High. We were able to stay on topic more. Here's the reason, alright? I wasn't excited about that. I hated that for every second. If you okay. go back and watch, you can see my discomfort. Okay, back to the movie at hand. The movie was great, it ripped up nicely Ripe, in a way that... Ripped up. It Wrapped up. up turd in a sense in a way that made sense to people. There were a few parts no one's gonna agree with, and a few parts a lot of people are gonna like go, Oh my gosh, it happened! But I'm gonna say don't, don't don't think it's gonna be the best thing ever. Yes, thank you. Because yes, it's a good wrap up, but is it I wouldn't say it's the best Star Wars movie. I wouldn't no. say that. I, I still it's think a good wrap up. I wouldn't say any of the newer ones in the no. trilogy. The old, the older ones still uh, have their pillar. And yes, even though there is a and bunch of cool. the thing is, there's some moments in this movie where I'm sitting there like they're doing that, 
this is what they're doing? Yeah. I was like, what? There's, so, a, there's so a lot of moments where you question what they were and doing. Then, and you question in a positive way and in a bad way. Here, your hands like, are free. Put you know, that, and I'm going to just put my hands in my pockets because they're cold. So, I'm just going to lay these over here. If they fly away, they fly away. If they fly away, I'm going to kill chase you. Chase after them. I will chase them will down. get it on video. <laughs> yes, get um, me on video. Back to what we were saying. Okay. Um, but the movie has so many interesting... Turns. Turns where I'm like, they actually did that. And there's also some terrible turns. I'm like, they actually did that. Mm -hmm. Like, especially that one scene. I'm pretty sure mm -hmm. you know we'll, we'll get to that when we We'll get to that in the next part. So, this. so, but the, here's one thing I really liked about the movie. is the fact that the stuff with Leia was, even though Karen Fisher was already dead when this went into production. Yes. God, God bless. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um... But I'm surprised of how much it looked like she was actually there. She was more involved in the movie than I suspected she would be. Yes. I was expecting a lot of, like, small cuts and sentences. Now, there was a few things you could see. You could tell she wasn't actually in the scene. Yes. Now, there were some where they were able to hide. But if you, like, actually rewatched it and focused on her in those scenes, mm -hmm. you'd probably be able to tell that she was not actually there. Mm -hmm. There are some scenes where it's very obvious. I saw my first viewing, like, I thought my hand was a person, like, <laughs> photobombing. No, it's fine. We got people behind us photobombing. It's good. Um, He's paranoid now. Uh, <laughs> that one sorry. Sentence. Sorry, but um, a lot of things in the movie just worked. And it was, like, a lot of fun. A lot of the characters in this movie were just hilarious. There were some funny moments. That was a funny moment. There's one part I'm going to complain about in the next part of this. For, it's a spoiler thing, so I'm not going to say it in this part, but I will say it in the next part. That got on my nerves, and I'm sure it'll get on a lot of people's nerves. And there is moments like that in this movie, but it's a Star Wars movie, and there's always a Star Wars movie things that people aren't going to like. And I will say this movie was a step up from Last Jedi. Yes. I mean, yeah. I, I liked Last Jedi. I liked but... Last Jedi, but out of the, the, the sequel trilogy... It's my least favorite. That's that's fair. I liked it for the little scene they did with Luke force battling Ren, but not even being there. I enjoyed that part. I made a fool out of you from ten miles away, ten thousand galaxies away. Um, whatever the whatever the measurement of it is. But like the legit, this movie just did some things that I was just like sitting there, like okay, 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 okay. That was legit how it was. Like ninety percent of the movie. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just mixed emotions when watching this film. And there's nothing really to hate about Rise of Skywalker. But there's... De 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 never mind. Yes, there is. <laughs> there is some things to hate about this movie. But they did... But I think the things. goods outweigh the bads. Yes. Even though one of the bads is really bad. <laughs> and there is one thing that they do. The way that they end it. I'm not going to say what they did. But if you are a true Star Wars fan and you have seen them all, you will love what they including do at the, the end. the animated series. Is yes. Re Rebel, not Rebels, Clone, not, not Rebels Clone and Clone Wars. Wars, that's it. Rebels and Clone Wars. That's the, that's the only two there is, isn't it? Uh, there's, there's that new one, Resistance. Yes. I don't think there's any reference to that. There might have been. I don't know. I haven't seen Resistance. A few things happen. Okay. Um, what time is it? It is 8.53. We still have plenty of time. We still have plenty of time. Someone burped. <laughs> You're going to keep that, aren't you? They laughed. Are you going to keep... Are you, I hope that's in the video. How many of this are you going to keep? Everything. Well, people... How many of this? Okay. Don't you mean how much? How, how much? How many? People, we're going to die. What? <laughs> I, was, I was wondering what he'd do to that. Okay. Okay, back to talking about the movie. Back to the point. Where, back to the point. So, and, obviously, you get to see the returning characters, but there are some new characters as well, which, honestly, they don't add much. Like, there's this one female character that's added to kind of with Poe's story. Yes. And Give it, a little it more. Goes, it goes nowhere. Uh, no. It, it goes nowhere. It could have been left out. And I don't think anyone would have cared. She had no real effect until the, like, final scene. And it really wasn't that much Much either. of an effect either. I I'm think like, they added that one bit for that comic relief like, bit. And I'm like... But yeah, the thing is, this does feel very Return of the Jedi. Similar. With some of the way the scenes are shot. I could, I could see that. But I'm not complaining about that. No, no, no. Now, it is bad to, uh... Freaking just... 
dwell on that and just like, this is how we're gonna do everything from now on. I'm like, we're just gonna build on nostalgia. And <laughs> Palpatine. 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 Who? What can we say without spoilers? He's a turd. Yeah. One thing I really Disney basically tried to say. Yeah, he was planned from the beginning. Yeah. They're trying to tell us that, that the entire time we thought Palpatine was dead, that he that he you know blew up in a reactor of a ship the size of a moon and, and that, drowned in space. Yeah, he survived. And that and that with no explanation of how. And well, Disney so. and Disney's like trying to say, yeah, we had him pl planned for him to come back the whole time. No, you guys didn't. With, with three different directors. Yeah, three different directors. I didn't have that plan the whole time. I don't no. believe that. I don't even think the second. directors had that plan the entire time. I had no, they, no one had no one had that plan. They were probably thinking one writer was like, what can we do for this next movie? I feel like and we need, like, you know how there's always that kick me sign on your back? I think we need that sign of, we're YouTubers. We'll just go with it. <laughs> we're, all right, he's never done this in public. Yes, I have. I've never done, oh, you have? Not a review. Okay. Never I've, a review in public. Well, I have vlogged in public. I've never done this before. I posed an idea. Whether it works or not, who knows. Okay. Back to what I was saying. What we were saying. It's just the fact that that was dumb. And just the fact that this did wrap up pretty well. And I will give my rating four and a half stars out of five. What about you? Uh, Let's see. What is your rating? Um, out of five. That's how we do it. Out of five, huh? That's how we do it. Say, what's that? Four and a half stormtroopers. I don't, I don't do that anymore. I do it. But I just say four and a half is five stars. But I do like how you remember I used to do that. Well, I wanted to do it. So I leave me be. Okay. Leave me be, ponytail. Are you ready for the spoiler section? Oh. Okay. If you not, if you have not seen Rise of Skywalker, leave the video now. You hit that pause button and you leave. No, you don't pause. Just exit the video. You will exit the video. You will exit the video if you choose and not for spoilers. And he had a reference. I threw a reference. Deal with it, mother haba. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't curse. Okay. Yeah. I don't you... curse. I just I I edit my cursing. So. Okay. Back. Okay. So. What spoiler do we discuss first? Oh, I know. How about the part where they... Uh, let's not start there. Let's I love how there. he knew exactly where I was let's going to. Let's not start to. there. Okay. Let's start... Snoke. Let's start with Snoke. Yes. Let's start with Snoke. He's it, a freaking clone. clone. A clone. Clone of who? We don't know. Clone of what? No, we no, no. absolutely no idea. Okay. I have a, I have a personal theory, and it actually works off another theory. It's not the who... Miss Windu theory, is it? Yes. Just, just, hear, just hear me out, people. Hear me out, okay? If you don't want to hear me out, skip ahead. I don't care. <laughs> this is what I want to say. I'm going to say. This how you know he's watched a bunch of YouTubers and the way he's talking. Yes, okay. I think he somehow got... All right. Snoke could be Mace Windu. But, a, but not Mace Windu. A clone of Mace Windu that Palpatine got a hold of. Now think. Palpatine was senator for years and has done things for years no one knew about. Sith, the entire thing of Sith is cloning. They have specialized this. There's a comp, there's either a comic or a book where Palpatine kills a guy and clones him to make a point. Okay, but I, I don't think that's a, that I just, I just think that's my thing. Like, okay, like, that could play off it. Now we, I really don't know who he is. I have no true idea. The thing idea. is, for him to have cloned um, Windu, he would have had to have found a way to store his DNA for years. Keep in mind, up in from skin in, tissue and but look at not stuff like that the caves. But okay, well, well, let's not get into all that. Let's do more whoa. spoilers. Wait, uh, what's another spoiler? Uh, 3PO. <laughs> we learn more about his programming and the how the one he time can, he cannot speak a Sith language. And here's the funny thing. Well, he can understand it. No, here's the thing. And he can't say what it means. Yeah, here's the thing that I'm curious about. Was there any point in the Star Wars series where 3 was useful? Like, in the movies. Not, not the series, the movies. Yeah. Which one? No Hope. Yes. Okay. Return of the Jedi. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I haven't seen these guys, the movies in so long, and I'm disappointing myself for but it. The thing is, the one trailer that said... When it said, I'm taking one last look at my friends, I was like so scared. Like, They're going to kill off 3PO. And they kind of did. Okay. They, they wiped his memory to in order to, to read the Sith language. Here's the funny thing. 
we they actually asked him, does R2 back up your memories? He said, are you kidding? His his memory banks are completely unreliable. And then later we actually see R2 him. R2 has his memories we back literally up see to him. right before they went on the whole mission. And honestly, I was kind of upset that we didn't get a lot of R2 in this movie. We didn't get a lot in the last one either. Okay. But I loved getting all the 3PO that we got. I want to say because in the new movie that they, because in the movie that they did, um, a lot of it was directed. Me too. A lot of it was directed to BB-8. Then in the new one, they introduce a new little droid that they find on a ship that another spoiler we'll get into very soon. Um, and it's more focused on him, even though we don't really know okay, much about him. Now let's get into the spoilers you care more about. With Ray and her past. Right? Ray and her past. It's more. There's more. Can I say she's, it? She's, she's Can I not. Say it? Can I say it? Let me. She's not just a nobody. Can I say like it? that was mad? Let me say it. Let me say it. I'm gonna give Let you me say it. all to yourself. Thank you. She is Palpatine's granddaughter. What? Yeah, seriously, what? Okay. Palpatine has never I shown. Him no, though. He has shown no romantic interest in anybody. Who slept with Palpatine? Who slept with that ugly dude? We don't know. For all, <laughs> for all we know, the dude got lonely one day and got some credits. That would be my best guess. <laughs> No, but seriously, like, and like the whole time they've been pointing out, they're, he's a no, they're nobodies in the last, and then that's just because that's what uh, the Snoke and them said, but the, it doesn't matter. That's what they said because the only reason now that Kylo Ren knows is because Palpatine told him. And and here's another thing that they've been going on about. Something that's actually really interesting to me is Palpatine actually tells Ren that he wants R Ray dead because she has his power, which is why she's so powerful in the Force. But then it learns that he's not trying to kill her. He's trying to make her become the Sith Overlord and actually take over as the new Empress. You know, until she teams up with Ren and kicks their butt. Oh, the new Force ability. I'll let you reveal that one. Oh, the whole... I mean, where she can... Yes, okay. In the last movie, as y'all may have seen, she and Ren had the ability to actually see each other through the Force, even through yes. great distances. Well, in this one, they revealed... Okay, I'll let you say it, actually. Oh, uh, you mean they could... Yeah. Where, where apparently... They can give, bring things from one place to the other when they communicate together. Because one, it shows, one, her knock over Darth Vader's helmet, and it falls into where, uh, where, Ren, where is. Ren is. And I'm like... Explain that to you. Um, here's and, another thing. Here, okay, besides that, here's another thing. One of the most bad butt scenes in the movie. <laughs> I love that part so she much. She puts the lightsaber behind her back. Re making Palpatine Ren, think he's about to strike her down. And then Ren pulls it back and takes out the Knights of Ren. What I love about it is how he just, like, he pulls it out. They're all looking at him and he goes, Wait, and you're probably thinking, if, if you skip this and just wanted spoilers, you're probably thinking, wait, why are they working together now? Because... Let's just, I'm going to sum this up in a joking way. Mama died, ghost of, uh, memory of daddy shows up, and be good person, throws lightsaber into ocean, and goes help Ray. And then he's actually using the rebuilt Luke's lightsaber while she uses Leia's lightsaber, which, which apparently means that Leia actually did train in the Force for a little bit, which is actually really cool because that relates to a book where she tried to become a Jedi for a little bit and actually finds a turned Jedi who also used to be a Hut. And here's the thing that the weirdest thing is the fact that we find out that Leia within the movies was studying the Force and trying to be a Jedi. Until she got the premonition of her son turning against them, her son turning into great danger and sensing Rey's presence. Now apparently what we know is that Rey and uh, Ray and someone else knew. Who else knew? Or not? Not Ray. I'm sorry. Leia and someone. It was Leia and Luke. But both of them knew that that she was related to Palpatine. Now, let's get into the the big, one I wanted to get into. Spoiler. Okay. Now. No, I got to. Re you got to reveal this. No, other I'm just one gonna say. I'm just gonna say this. I'm not gonna reveal it. I'm just gonna say this. All right. A lot of people like this. Like this. And we're hoping for this. A lot of people won't agree with this because there was no show. Take it away. Let me have the whole camera to myself. Whole camera. Go ahead. Ray and Ben. I say Ben because at this point he was Because ben. that's who he becomes, yes. Kiss. What? Why? Now, our friend Hannah, who has not seen the movie, we told her that and she was like, I'm like, 
There was no romantic tension no. between any of the movies no. built up. It was dumb. It was stupid. It was forced. And if anything, they had a brother-sister relationship. If anything. anything. Okay, now here's another spoiler of some of Ray's abilities, new abilities that they reveal into the series. Now, she can force heal. Now here's the funny thing. They actually took that from Mandalorian. What? Oh yeah. I'm not called Mandalorian. Uh, Baby Yoda can heal. He has that ability. Well, there's been things of force healing way before Mandalorian. Oh, I'm sorry. I just... Anyway, okay, well, that's revealed. Anyway, another thing she can do is called Force Echo. And this ability was actually revealed in the uh, Star Wars video game Fallen Order, where your main... the Force Echo? No. What the Force it? Echo allows you to see a the history of an item that the, the Jedi touches. Oh, and what happens in... Uh... Yeah. When, when she touches the lightsaber the first time in Force Awakens, and when she touches... Well, does that, though, she sees potential futures? Yes. She didn't see future of that item. Well, no, she, she, saw, saw no, she didn't futures. see the future. She saw the past. Remember, she saw... She didn't saw the past. Yeah, she, she saw uh, Luke uh, in, the bur in the front of the Burning Kingdom with a R2. And but she also up. saw some potential futures as well. Right, right. Okay. With the Knights of Ren. Yes. Which I'm glad the Knights of Ren were brought back. Yes. The Knights of Ren. They were, were mentioned. Hinted, they were hinted and at in Force it. Awakens. You didn't see nothing in Last Jedi. Oh, my hands are cold. And then, and then it just they show back up here. Obviously, oh. it, they, they weren't used to the best of their abilities that they should uh, have. Yes. Oh, um, there's another. Oh, yeah, by the way, this movie has a baby Yoda wannabe. That little thing oh, that fixes three PO. Uh, yeah. That's he's a Baby a, Yoda wannabe. He, he is a... He's baby a, Yoda wannabe. Yeah. Oh, we haven't told them what uh, Poe was before. He was basically did a bunch of stuff similar to Han Solo. He was a spice runner. He was Han Solo, but a little bit worse. Oh, and let me tell you something that made me upset. All right, this is something I mentioned in the first part. I'm going to say this now. There is something that uh, Finn wanted to tell Rey... As they were about to die, that they thought they were about to die. And then, and then later, this like, is brought back up through once. the end. No, through the no, entire. Once she says, "This is like, what were you gonna tell me?" He's like, oh, "I'll tell you later." And he never tells. No, her. and then when they're about to be executed by um, Hux and three troopers, he says, "What was that thing you're about to tell uh, Ray?" And said, "Now's not a good time." Oh, and another thing. There's a spy in the First Order Network. You want to tell him who it is or can I? Hux. Hux. Which is also dumb, and his reasoning is because I want Kylo Ren dead. No, okay, that, that is the main reason. He hates Ren so much, he will turn against the First Order to see him fail. He didn't, wanna, he didn't even say he wanted him dead. He wanted to see him fail. That was it. Okay. But it was pretty obvious he wanted him dead. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then he immediately gets caught and shot. Yep, which I didn't expect that. I expected it. He's not a good spy. He's not a good soldier. You know what he is? Cannon fodder. <coughs> um, so getting back to the other thing, what were we talking about before that? Um, uh, the thing about Ray and the the um, secret. Ray and Finn would have made a good relationship. Mm -hmm. That actually had tension. That from did. the first movie. Because think of how he but kept then, reacting he, with her. And then you, see, then the last Jedi comes out, and there's a the forced relationship with bros that which no one asked is for. not brought back up in this movie no. for no reason. She's she's hardly she's seen. She's barely in she's the movie. She's hardly seen. She's she's in like what two scenes? She's a, she was a, she was such a big deal about the. Uh, she was in such a big deal in the last one, mm -hmm. but in this one she's like who cares. Okay, and here's another thing, okay? I honestly think, and a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this, I think um, Finn should have died in Last Jedi. I think he should have died. Uh, I don't think so. No, because here, here's my reasoning on that, right? Because it would have been a good callback for A New Hope. Someone who inspired her dies, and she goes on to, a, to become the best she can be as a Jedi. But no. But it didn't the, ruin it by keeping him alive. I mean, I, I'm not saying they ruined it by keeping him alive. I'm just saying that would have been good. I get so it. instead, I, what they do, the the love the love person. What was it called again? The love Rose. interest. The love interest. Love interest. Trying say, yeah, I was trying to say love interest. Not the Rose. love. Yes. The love interest that no one asked for comes in and crashes him, risking everything. Okay, we're talking about a separate movie though. At that, at that point. Yes. 
thing is, is this, this movie has a bunch of flaws, and I didn't notice it till just now when listing them out. Yeah. It has a bunch of flaws. Flaws that don't make sense. And I can't say I can't understand people's anger with this movie. Ooh. Uh, okay, there's another part I wanted to talk about. Uh, and, cause yeah, we need to wrap this up in about 10 minutes. Uh, yes, you are correct, because it's 9-10. Uh, we're about to go see something. Okay. <laughs> Real quick, uh, the way they end it is she's standing in front of the twin sons just like Luke. Yeah. That, that's what I wanted to say, because I know people who really there's love... There's I want to point out as well, in the little celebration thing after... Like they you said, we need to hurry. After they've destroyed need... everything, <laughs> like they've won the war and everything, yeah. there's one scene, I don't know if you saw it, it's like a little in the background, and they're all celebrating. There is a LGBTQ kiss. Did you see that? Oh, yes, people, yes, yes. People, people... I saw articles about people was like, they're forcing this in the start. It wasn't forced. It was not It was forced. in the background. And I honestly, I don't care. Put it in the movie. I don't care. I as long know. as you don't force it, I don't care. And it wasn't a main character either. Yeah. See, here's my thing on that. I uh, don't want to don't get into all that. But. That is a fair object. Regard that last statement, I have no opinions on this. Well, okay. We're not going to get into all that. We're, For, we're going to stand on that. Yeah. Because... And I said, well, this is what I'll say. You want to, you do you. You do you. At 11. Well, we are about to do us what? and go watch Sonic. Let's go. What? I said, at 11. Oh, it's, it, that's it's what time nine. It is. 11. Oh, I was like, what the heck are you talking about? <laughs> we're, t we're talking about it. The only thing I want to okay. point out was the, the ship battle. Was there so many references. They now, put the ghost from Rebels into it. I guarantee you there was also references to other, so many ref references and callbacks throughout that, that entire scene. Qui-Gon, Qui-Gon's in it. Uh, oh, the, the, the Jedi talking. The Jedi, Jedi force talking, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, Ahsoka, uh, what, what's his name again, Ken? Uh, uh the Jedi from Rebels. Uh, uh, Cronin? Conan. Conan's in it. Uh, that's his name, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember, I'm gonna, we really need to go. Okay, so that's all I have to say for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to know down in the comment section what you guys thought of Rise of Skywalker. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.